say, nigga, you didn't pass me the ball, motherfucker. You didn't pass me the ball. I didn't average these certain stats, and that's why the fuck I'm mad. I hey, Kwame is here, so now Kwame can ask the question. So, so it, it stops when Kwame stops. Appreciate it, just. But Maxie. I think you're just Forget too good. Forget T.J. Harris. Can I say that again? Nah, she wasn't talking about shit. Oh. Here we go. Don't, don't swallow hard, nigga. Come right. back, daddy put you up. Don't swallow hard now, nigga. Can't be a man. Finally, stand up. Hey, hey what's the ball you, man? I can barely hear y'all. You can hear? Yeah. Turn the ball. You, 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 you might have to back out and come back in if you can't hear, if you're on your phone. Sometimes I'm it's good. Out. That motherfucker going to say his phone died. Nah, he hey, ain't you gonna... talking too much, nigga. If you ain't scared, why you talking so much? Let me finish what I'm doing and shut your bitch ass up. We know you scared, nigga. I don't know when you turned into the tough guy, nigga, but them white boys ain't make you tough, nigga. You were by the bathroom getting jacked up, bitch ass nigga, so I don't know what you talking about all of a sudden. Getting jacked up by who? Don't worry about it. Hold on. I'll be right back. Tough guy. Beta talk and all this shit, nigga. Come on, man. Nigga, they, 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 you won't be able to pull your bitch ass up on me. Come on, my nigga. Don't play games like that. Come on, man. Hurry up and glob on all back off, man. Uh, he coming back. He coming back. I'm glad y'all gonna get this here out the way. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Stephen A. Smith, if you see this, you better pay me to use my shit, boy. For real. But yeah, man, you got No Chill Gill, you got Kwame Brown. They about to talk. Y'all subscribe up to the channel, man. For real. And hit that like button. We should have 600 likes in here. You got your headphone. Hey, you can hear now, Kwame? It ain't coming through the speaker, but I'm going to make it work. All right. I'm about to remove myself so y'all can talk. So I don't even want to talk to this clown because I know this nigga is a zaddy boy. This is my thing, though. And when I ask you to stop talking about me, this is the thing that you don't understand because you're stupid. The only reason why they ask you questions about me, boy, is because you're not media trained. Any dumb motherfucker that'll talk about a black woman the way you did and you black and your mama black, nigga, stop trying to act like you smart. You a dumb motherfucker and they got you up there because you say stupid shit like you said in rookie transitional camp. That you wanted to be a motherfucking pimp. And I you did dumbass that. nigga. I said I wanted to build I did apartment that. buildings for women, nigga. I did that. I, I said that. I wanted to be a pimp. And that's what you're crying about, right? If you, if you, if you, 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 you got to talk while I'm talking, I'm going to let you talk. If you, the you the reason about. why you so mad, nigga, and always talking about me. If you would have ever been the number one draft pick, Agent Zero, a nigga who spent up all their money their first year and had to borrow money, a dumb motherfucker who hacked the keys to the gym and had everything in their favor and then lay guns on their seat, a bitch-ass showboat nigga that go to jail and have all his homeboys go to jail in D.C., and they cover it up because Ernie Grunfield was, you, you really had Ernie Grunfield okay. in your pocket. Okay. Right. Hold nigga, on, hold on, on, nigga, you ain't Why no man, you, nigga. You, you, you mad at me? Mouth, you mad at me? Cause I, got I ain't mad at shit. Why you keep saying I'm mad? You them white boys take you somewhere you, else. You, you what do I have to be mad about? You lay here, you lay here every day. Oh, you, you got to say you was a pimp. Oh, you got to make guns in me and you have a Okay, we're going to talk once at a time. What did I do to you, nigga? Why you mad at me? Because you want to share your guy. You talking about everybody else. Oh, you did the loop, Peter thing. You did this. What the fuck did I do to you? Run this motherfucking mouth. Well, why why do you this keep talking about me? Because anybody in the chat what asked I say about me, you? why do you have what to talk about, about me? He what said he that? don't want you talking about him, Gil. Why can't you? you just let it go and stop? When, when, when white folks ask you a question, you want me to think it's respectful. So let, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. You want me to think it's respectful that a dumb bitch that was in my draft that got picked behind me that are openly admitted that he a selfish son bitch that don't pass the ball, a black man, that openly admitted that he want to give my pick to a white boy, and I'm supposed to think that's respectful, nigga? All the work I put in, nigga, fuck you, nigga. I don't give a fuck about your opinion. And that's why I ask you to stop talking about me, nigga. You don't never say that Michael Jordan was on the team. You don't never say that I played 14 minutes a game. You want to use them white boy tactics and keep saying the same shit over and over. Gilbert, me and you was not having a basketball conversation. So what you look stupid, sir. sir. Do you it look anything. dumb. You look dumb. Keep talking about a man about basketball. Talking about, about a, a white man boy doing what? Me and you wasn't having that conversation. Talking about a man doing what? what, what? Why are you? Me and all you this? was not having you a basketball conversation. You had all this extra shit that has nothing to do with the conversation. You are a nigga. The nigga made a statement. The nigga made a statement. He made a statement. Then ask why a every time you got to make a statement, statement about other men. 
Ain't another man? man, another man. Wonder how out. you look on your birthday talking about another, another man. Another man made a statement about I'm you, glad you took your time to get a haircut. And I defended you your soul over again. And you get motherfucking mad. I'm not mad at shit. You Just get mad. Stop running your you mouth. get mad. I defended you in your ass. Asked, did I ask you to defend me? What did I ask you to do? I, 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 you didn't have to ask. You, you know what it is. You, didn't have to. you know what it is, bro. The sad you didn't have thing about a nigga like me. I just did that shit in my own marriage. And you got in your motherfucking feelings to talk about another nigga. Get mad at Vlad. Get mad at Vlad. That's your only name is to talk about another nigga. Get mad at Vlad. The statement was. What else can you do? What other talent that you got? The ball done stopped dropping for you. The ball done stop bouncing for you. So your only other new talent is to fuck with a nigga named Kwame Brown. Is that your new talent? What did I do? I didn't ask you, what did you do, sir? Do? I'm asking you why you keep having to mention my name. I've come to YouTube and I said the same thing over and over again. I said, you niggas get paid to talk about, you niggas are basically white boys in black face. You Man, niggas get a script. You don't do nothing. You don't even use your own Instagram. You you don't even delete your own comments. They do everything for you. You don't fuck it, little bitch. Why am I going to delete a motherfucker? Express? And now why you repeat you other shit. Nigga, you just dumb. You what's just all this beta? Just what's all this beta talk? All this extra shit for no Let's reason. Let's get into that. What, what's and all this beta talk? Story, I said no, he hey, wasn't. Check this out. He said you were sorry. I said no, you wasn't. I don't give a fuck Period. what you say and nobody else say. You, you, I you didn't ask. I did it. Just like a motherfucker did. If someone was talking about your friend, if someone was talking about your friend, you gonna correct their ass. I corrected him. If you're mad at Vlad, talk to motherfucking but Vlad. But I know you, nigga. You do a lot of slimy shit. You a snake, nigga. What's up? I don't know why you sitting here bullshitting like I don't know you, nigga. You sitting here acting like you what, nigga? You brought Dan Fagan to me. You gave me Dan Fagan number, nigga. Why is you sitting here lying? Put the money up and take a lot of take the ten. You said you gave me Dan I Fagan had you bench. Listen to what you're saying, man. I fuck the bench, shit. I'm saying specific things. You gave me Dan Fagan's number. Your okay. agent wanted okay. me to sign with him. Tell okay. the truth, nigga. Okay. I gave you his agent. I gave you my you agent. Talking about, nigga, you sitting here lying like a motherfucker. You want to sit here. See, what a nigga like you want to sit here. I gave, my, like, I gave you my agent's like, number. Now what? You want to sit here and make it seem like it's about a female. Nigga, you know what the fuck I, I did. You Why you want to say about? Do you still got that emperor jury? Them niggas about to rob you over, nigga. I gave you my agent's number. Now what? Do you still got that emperor jury? Them niggas about to rob your bitch ass. I gave you my agent's number. Now what? Now, now master, what's your next do friend? You still got the emperor jury that them nigga was about to take from your bitch ass. I your gave you nigga. my agent's number. <laughs> now what is the next claim? We and, ain't no claim. Nigga. <laughs> you said he asked know. you about the beta, the beta, beta shit. Script, bitch ass, nigga. I, 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 hold on, let me see listen. If I get this head from you gotta remember, he just said a few minutes ago that I'm taking the lie detector test because uh -huh. I cost him motherfucking money. Yep. So. Tell his ass to focus on that. You see, he, he doesn't want to focus on the shit he complaining about. I, I think he's he coming back. Limit. Now what is the next question? I think he's coming back because he was asking you what's up with this beta stuff. What beta stuff what? I think he was asking you, so what's up with this here beta stuff you talking? Like the beta male shit. I think he was. Why he's ignoring the question? The question was, did you give him my age? First, it started off, I had him benched because I wouldn't sign with his agent. Then he narrowed that dumb shit down to, did you give me your agent's number? Okay, yes. Now what? Did I have you benched? No. Okay. Like, he ain't going to ask that. He ain't going to jump What's the next it. question? That nigga probably ain't going to be able to get it up tonight. Keep talking about a man all day. Why you care about what shit? I'm going to get up? Nigga, nigga you sitting here. Why you work? Why you worry about who you look better than, nigga? You talking like you look better than another grown man. I gave you my agent's number. Man, you a now weirdo, what? nigga. Every time you get off, all I'm saying is this. This is the long or short of it. You know Chill Gill. You the baddest motherfucker in the land. You scored 60 points on Kobe. Why you keep talking about a bus? When did I, okay, when did I call your bus? I don't talk about that. I'm saying when they ask you a question about mm -hmm. another man that asked you, not to talk about me because the way you're going to frame your answer is nowhere like I'm going to frame it. So I asked you nicely, me and you wasn't beefing, me and you wasn't talking. When I got into it with Jack and all them, you were left out the equation, were you not? Yes. So then when they asked you a question about Kwame Brown, all I asked you to do was 
fuck how nice you think you saying it nigga i don't agree with you giving a white boy my pick that i work for a nigga ain't that nice to me motherfucker. and that's i got my right to have my opinion on that just like you have a right to say the dumb shit you said but i so asked you not to talk about me so, so i don't so, answer no gilbert question so why so, can't you go to that have them white boys tell them white boys this the next time y'all ask me a question about kwame i will not answer and i guarantee they'll fire your bitch ass what was, the the only lane you what, got? Was the what was the question kwame the only lane you got is answering questions about other what men, was the question they asked you that about asked. kwame they asked you about Kyrie. They ask you about other black men. Why don't you answer no motherfucking questions about Aaron Rodgers, you dumbass nigga? Why don't you don't, answer don't, questions about Tom football. Brady? I, you are a fucking reading hole. Stay on what we're talking about. Stop, stop, stop adding Tom Brady and all that. What Gilbert gives Gilbert a right to answer any question about Aaron Rodgers? Stop stop adding Tom Brady and all that. What gives Gilbert a right? What gives a gun toting dumb son bitch that put guns in the locker room the credibility to talk about anybody? And why don't you answer questions about white boys, nigga? You can't get it through your fucking numb skull that I have you actually watch my show have you actually watch my show with the kids you know shit, like... nigga, you ain't got no show that's that white boy show okay white boy, I got it. Nigga. I, I, I got it. guess I got what it. when you sign up for youtube dumbass boy you can go sign up for youtube guess what they'll tell you on youtube this is a partnership guess what i can do every motherfucking day i can leave my phone on do not disturb and not get on youtube and guess what not near some bitch from youtube will call me and say i was late to work or i didn't show up you dumb fucker. hey who, who runs your who, who does your check my man hey, man i don't give a fuck about that that's an outside contract that you dumb son of a bitch it's, that it's, ain't it's, no it's, boss it's a lady, you get the white boy tactic somewhere else nigga. why do you care listen, listen, listen why do you care what did i say nigga? about you man is why you can't stop talking about niggas dog you don't yeah. they don't I ask you nothing. like I, now i know you don't watch so all now I know you watch. Gonna talk about. i have a sports show we talk about sports i don't talk bad about the players i don't ben simmons i protect ben simmons i kill the coach i kill the general manager that's what i do on my show Kwame. like a white boy nigga. I know yeah, I say, have i have i said anything bad about Kwame on the show no at all and to, to me you did. I've never said anything bad about fucking Kwame so why I'm are asking, you really I'm mad? asking you to why do you need talking. a beer put I'm the beer asking. down put the beer down you don't need a beer you don't need you don't need a beer every time you talk all right put the beer down we can have a conversation you know I'm grown right do you don't need a beer you don't need you know a beer grown, Kwame right. huh right. oh, you don't that's, need a beer. That's, that's another white boy tactic I, I know you. I know you about to get. I know you about to get saucy and get reckless. I I I I live Kwame Brown, baby. Huh? Uh, I know. I know who saying. Kwame Brown is. Can you finish what you were saying, though? Can you, you look at real soft you right now on your beer. birthday? Worried about another grown man with a drink. I was worried about another grown. Nigga, I'm, I'm in my motherfucking hotel room. You got me back here. I ain't leaving for the night, and I can't have a beer because you. Fuck your day. I'm fucking your day up like you fuck mine up. How about that? Man, this is nighttime, dumbass boy. What? It's nighttime. This ain't day. It's eleven o'clock over here. Oh, it's eight o'clock over here. So my day hasn't even got started yet. So I'm saying it still ain't day. It's so I'm saying how? Do, I ask this one: If someone makes a statement about you while I'm there, what am I supposed to do? You've been running the same script for since for forever since you met me in 2010. You were in the interview bringing me up every time something go on with gilbert the only thing they want to do is ask you questions about another black man i dare you to ask white daddy why do they ask you about kyrie irving now the new motherfucker they done sent your little stupid ass on you and Stephen a is kyrie irving they're gonna ask you more questions about kyrie irving you niggas are some script reading hoes and you can't oh. see that you a hundred million dollar nigga, but you don't have your own shit. Nigga, YouTube, you could be your own man and make your own money. And if you think you is the hell of a nigga like you claim to be, nigga, you don't have to get paid by a white man to do it. Okay. That white guy, that white guy you work for, he made more money than you. All right, so look, so so we can like he made more money than you. So we can convince it. All right, the every time they ask me a question about Kwame Brown, have I ever answered it in a disrespectful way? How about that? I just said to me it was disrespectful to give my life's work 
and my number one history making moment to anybody else you cannot go back and undo history that is disrespectful nigga. now you don't have to see it that way and everybody else don't have to see it that way because they didn't do the fucking work i did so I asked, you, I, asked you you nicely, to I asked you nicely though not to but speak that's on all me. you had to say i said that before gilbert that's why me but, and you but at the end of the day, hey mr skinny put that beer down put that beer down shit i gotta drink one <laughs> i thought about to tell gil but i got to have me one <laughs> this nigga telling a grown-ass retired player not to drink a beer <laughs> nigga shut your bitch ass up nigga. you was the white boy tactic somewhere else nigga, the fuck are you talking about i could drink beer every day anytime i want to motherfucker. guess why i'm retired and because i can so it's 900 right in here. Hit the and subscribe I, button. And I see, and that see, this hey, Mr. Skinny, you can see the white boy tactics in full effect. Him and some white boy that he claimed he don't know, his boss, David, his boss sitting here talking about he probably drunk. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask life. Gilbert. Now, where you Gilbert, you, you accused from? Kwame of being a drunk. And I, who? Mr. Skinny, you. where do you think, where do you think who, who you wrote that? that from? Oh, well, you didn't say that, but oh, the man right. said Kwame was somewhere drinking. Where you think he got that from, Skinny? And you said in your um in your comments today, Gilbert, that Kwame was a drunk. This boy in blackface. This nigga's a white boy in blackface. Listen, that's the problem with you. If somebody else do something, you blame me. Why? I didn't do nothing. Was that my comment? Why you think I sent it? I sent, I sent it to your people because your boy, your man Kevin said I was fucking up his money. Okay, you dumb. Yeah. No, no he he the button money. before I cut this shit off. He said I was fucking his money up, and I'm like, man, I, I, listen, I don't know nothing about you two. I'm not fucking your money up. I'm not attacking you. I really don't give a fuck. All right, you obviously give a fuck. You've been on the internet three, four days in a row. You taking time out of your birthday. Yes. You wearing my jersey. This don't you make no goddamn sense. Your ass this motherfucking smile that had your jersey still. This don't make no sense at this point. If you not a script reading guy, you got two white bosses talking about the most independent guy you ever known nigga. i have i could have i could have signed with your boss i could have signed with quarter lab and all this would be a done deal i could have signed with everybody you've never gone viral gilbert outside of basketball what have you done on the internet that that went viral other than talking about other niggas? we never talk that's about all other you do Who? what other niggas? they just asked you on black do you not see the script do you know how stupid you look on Vlad TV? The only Come reason it went, okay, they only ask you niggas. The only they reason is a problem is because you be that. Bro, Vlad asked Jack, hey, how many fights you been in? How much money you spent That's in the trip? That, what that guy yeah. that no, I'm going to get to you too, though. It's the same thing they ask all of you dumb niggas. And you niggas get up there and you st so stupid and untrained that you paint the black male image in the same light over and over again. Yo, dumb hey, ass talking I, about I, no, 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 you ain't gotta cut me off. You ain't gotta cut me off. I'm grouping everybody. You, you, you talking sitting, group. I'm talking about you though. I'm talking okay, about talk you. about me. You sitting here talking about Jabbar's Crittenden and how you got them texting him and all this shit you showing on Instagram. All you white boys love a nigga that's in jail. How did you treat Jabbar's Crittenden when he was out? Did you offer this man? What is a gun designed to do, boy? A hey, gun hey. is designed. No, 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 no. What is a gun designed to do? Okay, see now you speak. See, you speaking, from, people, you're speaking from the you're speaking from the outside. It's true, you keep trying to you keep trying to uh, uh, cut off. You say what did what I'm you asking ask me? You, what did no, I no, do let for me ask, let, me you, let me ask you the full question. How you want to sit here and tout the fact that you text Javars while in jail? But how the fuck did you treat Javars while he was out of jail? How did you oh. get to the point? Have you ever laid out three guns in front of a white boy? And say pick me, okay. nigga. So okay, so I'm gonna answer your question. How did I treat Javaris out of jail? Well, he had room, my room access to my credit card. So if he ever wanted to order room service, just add it to my room. He was my little brother. If he wanted to buy watches, check out shit, come to my room. If you're trying to impress a girl, do it in my room, order my room. That was my rookie. He was talking reckless while we were gambling. And I corrected him. That's how we got into it. During the trial, his mother, he didn't have no money. His mother had a problem. I paid for it. I, me, you can, you can, you can ask him all you want. I paid for him. His mother was in trouble. 
I helped out. He needed money, I helped out. He gets in trouble in jail, he needs new phones, I do that. The only reason I posted that- You probably shouldn't say that he has phones in jail. He that's said not I can smart. Post hey, Gilbert, that's not smart to say he got phones in jail. That ain't that smart. It don't, I asked him first, hey, do you mind if I post this? He said, do you, bro? Shit, I know if I lose it, I'm going to get a new one. That's still not smart to say he no, has but phones you asked in jail. Me, I asked you a question. How did I treat? I treat that motherfucker like he was, he was my rook. He worked hard. Okay, now, 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 you still didn't answer my question. Because uh, there was another part I did answer your question. question. Unless you, you got a new me, one. No, you told me what you did after he got arrested. No, I said before. Helped. I said before okay. he was my rookie, came to my room all the time, took care of him. Yes, I did that. Right. So how did better. Right. So how did you get to the point to where you're laying out guns in front of a black man telling him to pick one? And have you ever done that to a white guy? Uh he said he was gonna shoot me, so I said, I'm gonna bring you the guns and you can pick one to shoot me with. Oh, so you're a regular everyday thug. You ain't a tax paying citizen. Most people yeah, that's an NBA player that make the type of money. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't talk while you were talking. I'm sitting here listening. Don't use them white boy tactics. Most what people. What the fuck does this got to do? Why you mad at me? Like you, you bring up saying, everything that has to do with everything I've done. I wait till you finish. Everything no, I I've was, done I that has have nothing to do with Kwame Brown. Oh, why and, Kwame Brown and, is attacking and, me? And, you and telling you me got, how you got I put guns on, on this person? But you keep how talking. I did this in the club? Oh, why is that in the background doing jumping jack saying over talk, over talk? Because I wasn't over talking you. We was having a civilized conversation. Just trying to keep you did not me. answer my question, sir. What, what, I what asked you, you, have you? you ever laid out guns in front of a white boy the same way you did your brother and black man? White man, hey, white man never said he's gonna shoot me for me to do that. Okay. So if a white man say they're yeah. gonna shoot you, you'll lay out guns in front of them. Yes, that sir. What you're yes, sir. So that's defending yourself to lay guns down in front of somebody and tell I want to see if you got balls. Them. I want to see if you got balls. You want to see if they got balls to bring them your guns to shoot you. Un un unempty gun. That just show you you a show pony clown. You okay, don't bring no goddamn clown. guns to the locker. Why are you mad? Nothing you do. I'm not mad. Did you want to you do that at some point? What 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 you what had a problem you, with a nigga? Did you want to pull out on him? But you didn't have what a problem. You, what, you, what, you, pro what is your you, problem? What you gives you the background to keep diagnosing my mental state and if I'm mad or not? I, I never heard a man keep telling another man he's mad. Uh, Kwame, obviously you bring. Listen, have you noticed you bring up every fucking thing I've done? Would you bring this in a gun? This in a gun? What the fuck does that got to do? Why Kwame Brown's mad at me? I'm not bringing up the shit you've done on the streets. I'm mad at you. Don't know what the fuck I done on the street. Yeah, I do you know, know what you. What? Okay. I ain't yeah. had to drive down the motherfucking pearl. You come on, come on, stop. But I that don't do that. That ain't my business. That, that ain't got nothing. That's to do with normal. You. That's huh? normal shit. That's normal. I know that was normal shit, but I don't. I, I ain't let it out. I don't give a fuck. I know you. I know you want me to lay it out. Okay, you knock niggas out. Cool. Cool. I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing that I'm ashamed of, Gilbert. You Me ought to either. be ashamed. You I ought to be ashamed. Of your, so you proud about laying guns in front of a black man in them white boys' locker room? He said he was gonna shoot me. I wanted to see him do it. You know, a motherfucker could say anything. So if somebody say you're gonna shoot. So you gotta one up a black man so much that if he say he's gonna shoot you, you've been trained to go get him the gun. Okay, look, I'm reading your comments. I'm reading these people's comments. Gil, yes, no. He asked you nicely to stop speaking on them. He's not even. Have you noticed this motherfucker's not even mad at nothing that has to do with him? It's everything else. It's white man, you put a gun in front of another black man, you did this for a black woman. Like, what does what do you have to pile up with me? What is your problem with me and Kwame? What I'm, detail, I'm detailing how stupid you are. But I'm answering, but I'm answering your question. You might not like the response, but you did ask me something. I'm detailing how stupid you are and that I've never had the type of behavior that you have. So you're not qualified to speak on me from a basketball standpoint, from a man standpoint, from any standpoint. So I asked you nicely not to do so. And all you had to do was oblige me on that. Why do you have to sit in front of folks and ask, answer questions that I know the reason why they're asking you these questions, bro? Why do you think they asked you about Kyrie and Kwame Brown? Have I said anything bad about Kwame and Kwame and, and I'm not Kyrie? asking good. I'm not asking good or bad. I'm asking why do they ask you? Ask a guy, them. 
ask them. So why won't you tell them to ask me? You want to see my text? Won't you just, won't you have Pommy on? Huh? You want, you want to see my text? I said, hey, hey, Vlad, hey, you might want to talk to Quan Brown. You want to see? I have, I have, I have proof of everything. But I don't want, I don't There's want no to proof. go on. But this is the thing. So you made statements. So basically, white boys have a monopoly over you guys. So if I don't go on Vlad's. <sighs> Somebody just called me and fucked up the line. Listen, the reason they ask about Kwame fucking Brown, I'm just going to, the, the reason they ask about Kwame is because I'm in his draft. I was a dominant player in his draft. So, like everyone who talks about Kwame, they want to throw shade on his name. As teammates, I seen what what, what happened when, uh, or I seen the effect that Jordan laid on him. Skinny, put me back I in. I watched him. I played with so, him. Hold on, check, so check this out. I though. know the potential that was had. He just he he. You hurt your foot. You broke your foot. You never got the actual chance to do what you were going to do. Then you went to you went the Lakers and you was under Kobe. So you never got the chance. So I can answer that motherfucker fairly if someone asks. Like, no, he's not a bust. This happened. This happened. This happened. But he's not a bust. I wouldn't consider that a bust. That's why I've never said anything bad about you. But the reason they asked Kwame questions to Gilbert is because we was in the same draft. Why you keep asking why? Because we're in the same draft, Kwame. That's why. Salute to Gilbert. Salute to Kwame. Kwame's coming back in. I think people texting him. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe up, man. Ain't nobody giving you this here raw shit. You know what I'm saying? But before this here is over, Man, hopefully that y'all got all this here out. Out, because this looks like he a lot of stuff. everybody calling my phone for how stupid he sound. Yeah, that that, that listen, everybody man, need to get this listen, here I, I, listen, out. Listen, man, at the end of the day, check this out. All I'm saying is this. You might not be able to see it because you're a valley boy. You didn't grow up like me. They keep asking you questions about other black men, and you keep saying the stupidest shit ever. But if hey, you're not, me. there you go. But in your how, how many white? How many fucking white no, dominant? Can you ask are there? your question? Can you ask? How many white? Because you, you sound you fucking dumb as fuck. I'm in a Why don't sport. Why you ask we your question? After all, I ain't never heard you interrupt is TV like this. Look at the whole this league the real is giver, black, y'all. This the real giver. I thought I was talking. <laughs> the whole the real fucking giver. league is black. He ain't interrupt. He ain't interrupt Vlad not one time. This the real. The whole league is black. I ain't no motherfucking about, white not, boys I'm here for me to ask the questions about white boys. The whole league is not black, sir. That is absolutely false. And maybe that's why you're so dumb. You say things that are not factual. The whole league is not black, sir. Name, name a white boy. Brian Cardinal. Who? Who? Exactly. You don't talk about him. Why don't they ask you questions about Brian Cardinal that got the mid-level of the Hold on, hold on, hold on. You ask me. I, I'm answering. I will why say who. They, why don't they ask you questions about Brian Cardinal who got the mid-level exception and went down to Memphis and ain't played since he got the money. Why don't they ask you questions about him? Okay, first of all. Why don't they you... ask you questions about Ray of friends? What? Why are we talking to 2005? I don't have a podcast in 2005. Six. They keep bringing you up to ask you questions about a black number one draft pick over and over again. And nothing ever tickled your mind to ever ask you why won't you guys talk to this man why do you keep bringing up other players one that's in his draft class uh, like how can you get an unbiased opinion from an nba player that could have picked been picked number one themselves okay what is your what, what is your actual issue my issue is i would like for you to stop answering questions on my behalf, like I talked to you before, sir. I don't okay. care what you say. Let me break it down to its smallest common denominator. I don't care how nice you think you saying it. I don't care what it is. I really believe there will be no use for you niggas for them white boys if you stop answering questions about black people in the way that you're answering these questions. You guys are helping to limit stop the contract. You guys, hold on, hold on. Stop you guys are helping. You guys are helping to limit the contracts on these black men. Because although you might talk nice in one or two scenarios, the times that you're not talking nice, 
the times that Matt Barnes is tapping on niggas' legs right, when it's a factual, when it's a factual situation, and you niggas won't even let a black man stand in a fact. Them white boys got you niggas with the biggest, reddest apple ever. Why do you have a hundred million dollars working for a white guy or any guy? But you sitting in a chair like a king, black man, but you got a hundred million dollars and you got a job. I, you know what? I actually thought you had a problem with me because I, I did something to you, but obviously this is just this general. This you have, general, I have a problem general with you shit. because you don't, I have a problem with it's you because you don't, you don't realize how disastrous you are to yourself and others. That's why every time you open your mouth, it's something stupid. I don't want to get on. I don't want to get on the internet and be do nothing positive. I want to get on the internet and have fun or do something stupid. Them white boys love a dumb nigga like you. Okay, 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 okay. Got it. Now, now let's try this. Since you say that I get on there and attack black people, black men, have you watched my show? Name one. Name one. I, I attacked Dr. No one watches your show. That's why you got to keep talking about me. All I'm saying is. I didn't even is, do that on my show. What are you talking about? I didn't talk I'm about you on my is, show. I don't understand how hard this is for you. If you I don't care about the bus. Do, 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 do you get, let me ask you this. Do you have a vested interest in talking about me? I answer they fucking question. You making it seem like I, I go on motherfucking YouTube and spend two hours talking about you. They, as he made a statement, I answered the fucking question. I, I just answered it, nigga. We move the fuck on. But we move on, the, nigga. But, but, what are you mad but, at? But considering Damn. the fact, considering the fact that you had big ass dumb emperor jury on and you were about to get robbed, and me and my brother put ourselves on the line to save your dumb ass, and I've done several things that you asked me for. And I haven't never disrespected you. So why would I have protect me? Use my bodyguard. But that's what I'm saying what though. Why would about? I so then okay, I was your bodyguard. Why wouldn't I ask you as your bodyguard? Why wouldn't I ask you to just stop speaking on me then after I put my life on the line for you as a bodyguard? Why you couldn't just do what I asked? So so that is the issue. That because I just answered it, no matter how you like, no matter how I you mad, I answered it. Okay, cool. We got somewhere. You're mad. I answered it. That's fine with me. My bad. My bad. So, okay, in front of the internet world, world, right? Going forward, when they ask Gilbert Arenas a question about Kwame, you're not going to try to shape it nice. You're not going to try to sound nice. Could you just tell them any questions that you have about Kwame? Ask Kwame. Deal. And guess what, Gilbert? I will not have a problem with you and it'll go back to me never talking about you just like I wasn't. So it's kind of ironic how you keep trying to shape the narrative saying, what is your issue with me? What is your problem with me? I don't even know Gilbert Arenas exists. You live way in California. You don't touch nothing that I got going on. Wait, wait, wait. So, so, I don't so touch you, nothing that you got going on. So why are you speaking on me is my question. So, 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 so I can understand this. It's hard for you to understand, I'm pretty sure. So if I if if I say if someone asks me about Kwame and I don't I say talk to Kwame, you don't have an issue with me no more. Bro, you sitting here trying to make this no, shit into something. Do you have an issue with me no more? I done said this shit eight times. Is you would not have like, an issue with me. This is rudimentary at this point. You trying to bring up all these other I just want to you talk to around the truth. You would have no more issues with me. Bro, I never. When, when did I have an issue with you? Hey, I, you know what? I, Where was the issue before the Vlad TV? Exactly. Ex exactly. That that is exactly the point. And this is why your motherfucking comments shit is stupid. See, y'all mother, you came over here talking about how I took money out of your pocket, how I did this, how I fucked this person, how I talked bad about you. But you said if I that's don't my, that's mention your name, it. but listen, but listen, but you, you forgot the, all about that. That's the thing. That's the thing about a lying ass nigga Man. like you. You trying to make it uh, seem. Hey, you hey, trying to make it seem like you hey, a hell of a nigga. I knew. I knew. Go ahead and over talk. Go ahead I and knew the shit that you were talking you know about. I know you. Like I it. knew the shit you were you talking know, about. Just made no sense. You was using that for a reason. Hey, you. I would never say your name. No Jeffries, all cool. niggas I would never say if they asked me about Kwame Brown. So you didn't go, you didn't go when you when you was backstabbing Chris Whitney. You didn't go point the girl out in the stand and say, Chris Whitney, look. No. You know I got his number. Hey, 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 no, no, no. Before you go, my show. She she texts that. She she cleared, she cleared all that shit up. Hey, Listen, but, but again, bro, 
But you talking about what, a, what she said, nigga? Well, I was again, right there with my own Again, guys. what we're saying is this. I was right there, Gil, with my what own What we're saying guys, is this. If, if someone asks me about Kwame Brown and I say no comment, ask Kwame Brown. All that shit you said I did to you just goes out of the window. Weirdo. I'm cool. Weirdo. I'm cool. You're a weirdo, cool. Gil. So you're that means, still a weirdo. That means, you still a motherfucking weirdo. I can see that. That means, that means all the money you said I took anything, out of your pocket just goes out of the window. Anything you're going to tell the truth about, did Eddie Jordan write on the board? Because I'm going to have Etan on the show. Did Eddie Jordan write on the board that Gilbert Arenas need this much rope and everybody else need? Did Eddie Jordan do that little shit on the board? <laughs> yeah. Well, that ain't my problem. do that. And, and, and listen. If you're a guy who helps his teammates and you're such a nice guy, why do you need so much rope? Or was you a hell-raising stupid son of a bitch like I said you were? Again, if I don't mention Kwame's name, everything he yeah, said he was mad about me just <laughs> disappears. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that because that means if I don't mention your name, that means that girl disappears. The 20 games disappeared. My agent disappeared. What uh, is this 20 so game thing I, you talking I, I, about? I'll take that. I'll take that. What is this What is this 20 game thing oh, you keep talking about? I don't know. That was something you said. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Somebody. Hey, it, was no, it was no something I said. Nigga, you acting like you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Nigga, when we played the hey, Chicago. When we played the Chicago. I don't know nothing about no Kwame no, no, Brown. No, 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 no. Talk to Kwame Brown. Fast now. You, you trying to over talk the, the truth. Nigga, when we played the Chicago Bulls, we went into Chicago. We won the game. I was killing in the playoffs, sir. Like I said, with the black sleeve on my arm. Yes. When I said I drove down the lane and dunked on Nocioni, it's in the fucking, it's on YouTube, nigga. Yes. After that game, sir, I did not sign with your agent. And I'm gonna I, I'm gonna make sure I get Aaron Telemon because I know he probably fouled that little agent tampering with your agent. But nigga, you knew absolutely everything I was talking about. You came to my motherfucking house, Gil. And you sitting here lying in right up in my face. This is why I don't want nobody like in the talking. playoffs. Do you, do you not know Ernie Grumfeld and what's the assistant GM? They're on my cameras coming to my house trying to get me to come to Miami. In the play, I'm, I'm sure, nigga, we needed you. What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? The fuck I got to do with my agent? Why would I come? What What you mean? What it got to do with your agent? The fuck I got to do with my agent? The fuck you, I got to do with your agent? Your agent was trying to get me to sign with him. So what you did was, once I didn't sign with your agent, your agent was allegedly a piece of shit. So yeah. once I didn't sign with your agent, the same agent that I think took some money from you, once I didn't sign with your agent, you asked Ernie, you asked, uh, what you call it, to take me out of the game. And you know it, nigga. I don't know why you lying. Okay, so, all right. So after game two, right? When we can't, were you, let's just be honest, were you getting booed at home at that moment in time? What the fuck does that got to do with yeah, what I'm just talking about? answer the question. Were you being what booed? Did, no relevance. Okay, no relevance. So, so the fact that you probably wasn't or probably was being booed at all our home games, we played two games on a row. We're coming back home down 02. Did I not say to the public, please do not boo Kwame Brown, use all your energy for the Bulls. We got booed out of the building. Uh, I did I not know. say bitch fucking Kwame Brown because obviously I was having a rough time Man, fucking Kwame. trying to get in that lane. So with Brendan and another four man in there, it was kind of hard. So that. playing Kwame who can set picks and beat a five spread it the floor. So why would I say Bench Kwame. Don't play Kwame knowing that Eton and Michael Ruffin has to play two motherfuckers that can't, that's going to sit in the paint. So instead of my four, five men being Kwame Brown, my four being Antoine, which spreads the floor because Antoine was a, oh, what's the name? It puts Kwame Brennan inside the lane, which makes it harder to drive, which I don't, I don't, I don't get it. See, Eton yeah. told you this shit. Eton told you this shit. This ain't some shit that you 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 had in your brain by yourself. Why? Because White Daddy said I couldn't think. I didn't say White Daddy said I can't think. I'm saying. How, so how would you had, know? How about I, this? Who said I had your bench, Kwame? So let me ask you a question. Who said I had your bench? How would you know what I got in my brain? What? 
How would you know? You just made a statement. How would you know what I have in my brain? I, I can't hear that part. You whispering. I said, how would you know what I have in my brain? You just made a statement. How would you know that? Because you already told me Etan told you. So stop. Stop. You said Etan told you. So I was, you remember when we first had this little problem, I kept I kept uh sending Etan to the message, kept tagging him. Why you kept why you keep tying yourself with me? Keep talking about we have a problem. When I wasn't talking about you. When, when did we yeah. have this said problem? You said I, you said you had a problem. You keep mentioning agents and all this shit and bitching. But then five minutes ago, you said if I don't say your name and tell every reporter, Gilbert, do you I'm actually believe it? All, it, all get, disappear, it all disappeared. Listen, listen, listen Gilbert. It all disappeared. Actually, like all of this, all of no this. Wonder your show, out of no window. wonder your shows don't work because you're just talking a bunch of dumb shit. All you're doing is motherfucking talking. I asked you directly about your agent and what you directly knew. And you were sitting here talking about, did you tell them not to boo me? I don't give a fuck whether you tell somebody not to boo me or not. Nigga, you know how this shit go on the league. Nigga, them chicks come on the first and the 15th, whether they boo or not. So I don't know why you keep bringing up whether somebody got booed or not. Nobody don't give a fuck about all that, nigga. Because you're saying yeah. I had you bitch when listen, I'm the one who's publicly I, I, going out there batting for you. Man, that you just, see, you're talking as a fucking 40 year old, 39 year old. I'm 39. I'm 22 year old. You're wrong again. I'm 39, sir. Yeah, I say you're 39, know. about to be 40. I'm saying the okay. 22. So you're you're trying to speak for your. Are, we, are we having self. a are we having a dialogue or a diatribe now? Because it sounds like White Zaddy in the back of you telling you over talk this nigga because. This motherfucker hitting you with too many hot facts. Cause yeah, you really yeah. ain't saying nothing. You, you haven't talked a fact yet. No, you haven't you, said you, one you, fact. The fact of the matter is, I asked you not to talk about me, and you we keep trying to find. You keep trying to find every reason why you was talking nice, and you should be able to say it. When the longer short of it is, nigga, if you a grown ass man and another grown ass man asks you not to talk about him, what is so hard for you not to oblige that situation? I said, I said going forward, I will. I'm just you said confused. that the last time though. I'm just confused on how all the rest of the shit that you claim I did and why you're mad just goes you. out of the Look, window. Which means that say, it was all made up. Everything you say up. is it's funny how you try to sound so smart and try to talk so white. But nigga, everything you said and done has been dumb. I don't know why you talk like that. Everything you say and do is dumb right, as fuck. I, I, listen, Kwame, I got it. As long as I don't say your name, when they ask, I'm going to ask Kwame Brown, and then everything I've ever done in life just disappears. I got it. I'm going to take that. You want to be You want to be a deal. You want to be a test. Hey, so I'm, I'm sorry you, you that I even mentioned your me name. So I would never bro, do it you again. You want to be a test in me so bad that this shit I, I would never. I would point. never do it again. Everything else, y'all hear this, no. people. If I don't you mention sound it, like a two everything sound I've like ever a done to Kwame Brown disappears. Mrs. Cool. Skin, you hear this nigga? This nigga is on his birthday. What's this that? nigga done spent the last four or five days. He running on niggas shows and all kind of shit talking about another grown ass man. And now he trying to sound smart. This nigga running damage control <laughs> for that white boy. They done invested money in this stupid ass nigga. And he too dumb enough to know that he sent text messages in Carcino, which fucks up the business because he looked weak. So he got to sit here and do all this goddamn talking on his birthday. I just want to know from Gilbert that Stephen A. Smith send you that shit. tape. What tape? When you say you got 54 minutes of footage, did Stephen A. send you that? Because he said. That, that, that was me recording trolling that motherfucker right there. So you don't really have 54 minutes. You oh, I, got 54, I, got 54, I got 54 minutes of me right here trolling that black nigga right there. Oh, okay. So nobody oh, sent you the tape. This is a grown ass man talking about trolling all day long. That's supposed to be something. Hey, listen, listen, this listen. nigga forty something years old talking about 40. trolling. I just turned forty today. Listen, you I got it. Say it, man. I got it. As long as I tell the mother, Bro, you got it. Boy, you got it. The last time though, you got it. I got it this time, Kwame, because I didn't know. You I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> it this all is what you now. like, though. This all everything disappears. Like. But bro, this is what I'm saying. So Gil, but it's uh, it's over. It's all over. this nigga want to do is it's, talk. No, it's over. Everything well, disappeared. Hey, listen. All he Every, wanted to everything do. Everything disappeared. Look, it's over. Hey, hey, look, Mr. Skinny. Look at how this nigga lighten up now that he's talking to me. This all he wanted. <laughs> this nigga like a schoolgirl. All the white boys <laughs> hey, like this nigga right here. Hey, I, hey, listen, I, I like listen. Hey, listen, Mr. Skinny, I'm gonna tell you a secret. 
white boys like Gilbert don't really know how to make money without niggas. <laughs> They use niggas to make money. This bitch ass nigga don't know how to make no money. Outside of shooting jump shots, he don't know how to make no goddamn money. He need white boys out every two seconds. Hey, I, hey, 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 listen. Hey, white boys on that. Hey, I got all that. I just know personally, if I send them white boys and say, go to Kwame, everything that I've done to Kwame disappears. I'm taking that deal, my man. They're hey. not going to be, guess hey, what, Gilbert? They're not going to be able to go to Kwame. They're going to find a new, they're going to find a new dumb nigga like you to talk. They not Gilbert, gonna go to Kwame because guess what? Hey, Kwame hey, gonna be busy. Kwame gonna be busy. Kwame don't hey, answer the questions for Vlad and nobody else. It ain't none of their motherfucking business. Hey, you answering I, I, you answering questions for 15, 20 motherfucking no years about another no goddamn man. <laughs> hey Skinny, this nigga I'm motherfucking lame as fuck. Hey Skinny, you heard right? Yes. He said everything disappears, right? Yeah, if you don't talk about it no more. Hey, hey. Hey, Skinny, what was the damn to appear? This nigga trying to act like he's setting the ground rule. Like, <laughs> nigga, all you, had to, all you had to do was not say my name the first motherfucking time. <laughs> but, but, but you know what, though? He got his white zaddy show hot, so now he happy now. White zaddy going to pat him on the ass and give him a bonus today. You did good. You got Kwame Brown in the room. We wanted him anyway. Hey, man. You hey, happy listen. as a bird. Hey, you happy as a sissy with a bag of dicks right now, ain't you, boy? Hey, just a, hey, Skinny. I don't think, think he wants this beef to end, though. I don't, don't think, think he wants it to end. end. No, I, I think, I don't he, think, he I think what you saying, end. what you saying right now, I think he, he y'all had that agreement before. And yeah, he did exactly. It. Yeah, he's saying like, yo, what, what's me to believe that you're going to do it now? He can't. They're going to ask him in a couple of months about another black guy. Maybe he can't well, ask him. Oh, but you fucked Chris Kwame Whitney Brown up, though. Else. You fucked Chris Whitney up. We talking about Kwame Brown. I, I'm not going to say nothing about Kwame, Kwame Brown. Brown. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say nothing <laughs> about Kwame Brown. Right. <laughs> Nigga, that's all the reason why they pay you is to talk about Kwame Brown. Hey, man. Hey, listen, listen. Hey, I'm not going to say nothing about Kwame Brown. Hey, skid it. Hey, skinny, I'm looking at a nigga on the internet talking about beta and talking about this with a nigga damn near kissing him by the bathroom for his jury. Nigga, please, nigga, you better stop and my playing. Body going, and my two hey, body hey, niggas hey, this, 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 this nigga crazy. This nigga crazy. Man, that nigga put his arm around Gibber down there about to kiss him in the mouth for his jury. This nigga what you did? Beta pulled him off. You pulled him off him, Kwame? Yeah, they ain't pulled him off me. Get the nigga off man, me. come on, <laughs> man. Hey. That's hey, when he got the ball. Hey, 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 That's when he got the ball. Keep them hoodlums off me. Now we talking business. Now we talking hey, business. Hey, listen, Skinny. If you want to get this on, see, I told you this nigga didn't, didn't hate hey, me. Skinny. He protect me in the club. Hey, he protect hey, me in the club. That's before I, I knew. That's before to I tell knew y'all. y'all. That's before I knew Gilbert. But check <laughs> this out. <laughs> Keep the niggas off. Kwame. Hey. Hey. Kwame. Boom. Get the nigga. Thank you. Yeah. All he want to do is over talk now. But if you want to know the real truth about me, <laughs> ask some of the real, ask some of the real wizards. Ask Jerry Stackhouse. Hey, that's He's before <laughs> that's before uh you Tommy. knew who Gilbert was. Huh? Ask Jerry, Boy, ask, when you I find out who people really is sometimes. Ask Jerry yeah. Stackhouse about me. This nigga Gilbert talking about this nigga lame as fuck, boy. Hey, hey look, man. <laughs> I don't know who revamped your whole life and, and, and made you think you were somebody now because you made money, but Gilbert, you know you a real <laughs> tender dick, lame ass nigga, dog. Hey, man, you the listen. type of you the type of nigga that gotta talk up. You'll wait and watch another nigga Stilo and then come oh, talk God. about another nigga Stilo. That's what oh, you do. You, nah, you don't a lame ass no. cat. I don't hey, man, listen. I'm sitting. Hey, when man, I meet you, you, your ass was there. Yeah. I'm at a bar. I'm sitting here at a bar listening to a nigga keep saying beta over and over again <laughs> when a nigga walk up to this nigga with no gun, damn near kiss him in the mouth for his jury. And he got hey. the nerve to talk about beta and alpha. And what hey, I do, snap on, hey, hey, what, hey, what'd you do? You ran over there and got that nigga off me. Hey. Damn. Yeah, I felt bad that you was a wizard, nigga. I couldn't let nothing cool. happen to you. Hey, you nigga start getting shot up and all kind of shit. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, hey. You <laughs> fuck you nigga talking about. <laughs> Hey, you got me. Hey, you hey, you hey, get the ball. Hey, you knew that already. Hey, look here. You, you niggas start getting. You hey, niggas start getting. Hey, look. You niggas start getting job. slapped out in the club and all that. Hey, protect the franchise. Hey, Gilbert. When he left, hey. who you had got to do that, man? Because you was getting shot hey, up. Hey, look. Hey, I, told you this nigga, I told you this nigga don't hate me, man. He just protecting me and shit. Man, I don't think y'all hate each other, man. I want y'all motherfuckers to match shit. Hey, look. 
know what it is. You know what it is, though, Skinny. You know what it is. That nigga can be tough and a big man around everybody else, but that one motherfucker that know him, he, he got a hatred for that motherfucker that know him. I know this nigga. I saw this nigga fold in the, in the most in the most bet. Nigga, if I would have spent that kind of money on a jury, emperor jury, nigga, you gonna have to beat me, beat me to sleep to get that shit. No, no, real, what the fuck real you talk. talking about, nigga. You had red rubies, you had red rubies in your wrist, oh, man. Nigga, you had red rubies in your crown. And you about to let a nigga take that from you with no gun? Hey, no, hey, no, 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 real, real, real shit, skinny, nigga, right? You're a coward, yep. nigga. Think about what he's saying. I'm in the club, they trying to jack me. Him and his brother protected me, right? Come on, day, it was one nigga on your head. <laughs> I'm just saying, no big. So, he, what did he do? As a teammate, as a teammate and a friend, he did what? He got the nigga off you. Got the nigga off, protect me. Hey, hey, but listen. Why did he get mad when I protect him? So are y'all friends, Gilbert? We been friends. Hold on. Hold on. The okay. niggas hey, be making hey, up hey, shit hey. to get mad at me. But what I'm saying is, look, now why do you think? Why do you think I never say anything bad about Kwame? I know what he did for me in, in DC, but this nigga get mad. Like he helped me, but when I help this nigga, he want to get all mad at me. Kwame, what you gotta say about that? Because that sounds like Gilbert say he always defended you because you was his friend. <laughs> And you defended that Gilbert because he was your friend. That's that media training kicking in. There. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look, look. Every time why you think we never had issues? Like, like, how am I going to be mad at a nigga? Like, really? Every time I'm trying to speak for myself, he's trying to give me a set of ideas instead of letting me talk. Look <laughs> bitch ass nigga, man. Hey, listen, man. Let me tell you something. He talking about another man. Don't that sound like a chick talking about what I did for him? The motherfucker, you 6'3", 200, and goddamn 45 pounds, and you ain't do nothing? What kind of nigga you is talking about beta and alpha? Nigga, that shit hey. need to come out your motherfucking mouth, nigga. Hey, man, Tom Brady's, hey, Tom Brady's an alpha. He can't beat up nobody. Alpha's a mindset. You don't, you don't know shit about Tom Brady, nigga. You just running your motherfucking <laughs> mouth, nigga. What the hell is you talking about? I know one goddamn thing. If a nigga put his arms against the wall like I'm a motherfucking chick and have me standing in the corner and I can't move and trying to run my pockets in my jury, motherfucker, I'm going to turn into a ninja. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try crazy. But I'm not going to stand you there. Like, no. you but, you there. Hey, but you was there too, nigga. You want to sit here and talk about Alpha and Beta? You was there. You left. You was there, bro. You was there. When, when that happened to you, when that nigga put his hands against the wall, your your, your soul left or something, nigga? The fuck is you hey, talking about? You was there, hey. too. And what did you do? What what did you do? Hey, that hey, nigga walked hey, Period. Hey, look. I damn near threw up. I was waiting on you to do something. All that goddamn talking you doing. I was, I was, waiting, waiting, on you you I was waiting on you. Hey, look. You <laughs> hey, hey, you looking at me, I'm looking at you. You did what you had to do. First episode of Niggas in Basketball, y'all subscribe. Hey, 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 you see, we ain't like this. He he wants fake problems. He wants fake problems. I just want y'all to be Gilbert. You say hey, you're not gonna talk shut about it. Your goddamn mouth. This nigga trying to talk for me. I'm just okay, okay, pause it, Gilbert. Pause it, Gilbert. You sound like a baby mama or something. Pause it. I don't want fake problems. I can talk for myself, motherfucker. Quit putting words in my mouth. Hey. Nigga, you want fake problems, motherfucker. You want I could have defeated hey, I could have defeated hey, myself. Bro. I could have tried, but you came in and did it for me. Same thing. You can defend yourself, but if a nigga, nigga you was taking man, your nigga, you was taking How old was y'all then, Gilbert? 20? Like 22? That nigga was older than that. That nigga, like that, nigga ain't, that nigga ain't come to watch it. That nigga was there. This was this happened like in 2000. Nigga, we were the same. We the same. Kwame, I'm turning 40 today. <laughs> we the same Bro, age, nigga. What, what does that have to do with me saying what year it happened, sir? We, it was 2004, 5, 2003, 4. That's all I said, sir. That's all I said. So we were 20 years old. 2004, you, you, were the, 20. you were the motherfucking fighter, not me. <laughs> What the fuck are you, you saying? So wait, in 2004, you saying you were 20? No, I said when I got there, we was 2021 when I got there. 2021, yeah. Like if I said, you didn't like, yeah, oh, man, yeah. you must be forgot, man. I got drafted number one, nigga. You went to somewhere else, nigga. You didn't get there the same time I got there, you dumb motherfucker. You know that, right? What? Well, how old were you when you got drafted, Kwame? I got drafted at 19 years old, sir. I was 18 and, and a half. I got I, I turned eight. I turned 19 in March. And so and you, I got be, drafted. So by, your third, so by your third year, you'll be turning 21. Exactly. 
I'm two months older than you. Uh, yeah, I've been turning 22, sir. What? 19, yeah, 20. Yeah, 19. You got 18, 19, 20, 20. 19, sir. I, when I got drafted in June, I was 19. 20? 21, 22. That's three 22. years. Oh, 22. You was, you was 20. You older than me. You 40 already. So you at least had to be 22 or 23 years old. 22. You probably was 22. So a 22, a 22 year old nigga in his prime, six three, letting a nigga his height, his side with no gun, tell him to take it off, take it off, and let a nigga do something for that guy. <laughs> take it off. Gilbert take said he off. wasn't a fighter. <laughs> hey, skinny. Hey, skinny. Hey, skinny. If you watch, if you watch your teammate knock motherfucking body guard down, and you in the club with that nigga, you expect him to do work, right? To be my dog, yeah. Do your motherfucking job. What did Kwame do? His motherfucking job. <laughs> the fuck Gilbert, out. but you ain't want to slap that nigga for coming up on you like that. No, that. that <laughs> hey, listen, hey, listen. I watch him slap on niggas in the club. That's his job, not my job. Get the drink on him. Slap him, Kwame. I knew what the fuck I was doing. And if I Kwame had to went to jail, with. you had his back. You had to. You paid all the lawyer fees, all that. I knew who the club with. Okay. That's how you know That's everything. A, hey, hey, I'm going with that nigga right there to the club. I'm not going by my motherfucking self. <laughs> Skinny. That's another way. Right. Hey, hey, when Kwame left, I didn't wear that motherfucking jewelry again. <laughs> hey, Kwame was holding it down for y'all niggas hey, back then, man, and y'all got old soft ass <laughs> Brendan Haywood. But, but why you think I always say positive shit about this nigga? Brendan Haywood. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, Skinny. Speaking of Brendan Haywood, this is why these bitch ass niggas don't like me, right? <laughs> Brendan Haywood get up on the goddamn Gilbert Arenas text and talking tough. Man, I watched Oak chase that bitch ass nigga out the club in goddamn Chicago. That bitch ass nigga ran so fast, he pushed two white ladies out the way to jump in the cab. <laughs> Fuck that nigga talking about, man. These niggas, man listen, these niggas mad at me because I know them for real. I oh keep my saying God. I know these niggas real soft ass motherfuckers. Y'all hit that like and button. That's why these niggas mad. I go where I want, I do what I want, and only because I come with peace and I come with love. And nigga, it wasn't my job to protect you. Oh God. That's a cap. That was Brendan Hay would do the clown. He said it wasn't his job, but he did it every time we motherfuckers <laughs> went out. But now, but look, for real. Uh -huh. But you see why I can never say anything bad about Kwame. Why yeah, you think I mean y'all go, y'all got his but I said, he gets mad, like, like he protected me, but when I try to protect him, he gets mad at me for some reason. Yeah, I kind of see that. I mean, is it, I mean, uh, it's kind of dicey, Gilbert, because he said he just didn't want you to talk about him. And I guess you like, yo, I'm going to defend this nigga at all costs because oh, he's my brother, you nigga, nigga to stop niggas from running up on me and all this shit, so... You know what I'm saying? Well, but I think it's kind of... Oh, he was a boss. I'm going to always say, nah, that's no. I'm but I kind of think because nah, you got in the no mix. Comment. I'm not going to say no comment. No. You got in the I... mix with uh, with, 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 with Stack and uh, and Matt Barnes. So I still think, you know what I'm saying, like that harbor something. Like, I mean, did you say during that interview, like, yo, y'all chill, man. That's Kwame, man. No. No, I know I did the same thing. Like, no, nah, it wasn't like that. You know, Jordan, okay. I, I did the same thing every time. Every uh, time. Uh, I think Kwame uh, phone might have died. Yeah, so, hey, it's, it's time for me to go hit the... Uh, oh, yeah, you got your game. birthday. Uh, everybody in the chat, wish Gil a happy birthday. And um, salute to coming on, Gil. Uh, thank you for having me, man. Appreciate it. But oh, I hold on, Kwame, back real quick. You. Hold on. And somebody called me. But listen, hey, skinny. I'm uh -huh. I'm I'm stamped when it comes to NBA players and niggas that know me. Javaris Crittenden, when he came to my house, he got to stay at my house. He took my blue Ford F two fifty King Ranch on twenty eighth. I let him have it for the whole month. Leron Prophet stayed at my house. Uh, got them. Uh, Ronnie Terry off when he had the heart situation. We bought him twenty thousand dollars worth of clothes. I'm solidified and stamped in what I do for other people. So I don't like those narrative swinging, skip script reading motherfuckers trying to paint a narrative of me. I put myself on the line. I'm a basketball player. It wasn't my job to help this nigga. That's just the type of nigga I am. Yeah. That's not my job. My job is to play basketball. But so we do the, the same thing. The only reason why I did that is because when when I think it's a brotherhood and we share in a locker room and all that, I'm not going to watch somebody do something to you right. in, in front of me. 
And so when I started seeing Gilbert's real character, how he would embarrass certain players, how he would always try to fuck with a nigga broad, how he would just be disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, that, nigga, that nigga just be disrespectful to staff members. The nigga just disrespectful as fuck. And then he'll do something, turn around and do something nice for somebody he liked. But nigga, overall, he a prankster. He a joking ass, playful ass nigga. And it, you got to grow up at some point, nigga. I'm not the nigga that you need to direct your energy to. I you saved your ass by me. You came at me because I, I said something nice about you. Bruh, you keep saying you said something nice. I just detailed and explained why it wasn't nice. I already did that. Nice, I already nice you why been, I did it. This listen, is, this but is listen, different. though. But listen, though. Nice would have been, soon as your brother in that come to you and ask you not to do something after I could have went to jail for fighting somebody or worse, when I asked you not to do something as a man, you supposed to be like, you know what? You got that. You coming to the club with me because you know I got your back. So why you yes. can't have my back and do what I ask? I do now. I got it. I understand. I understand. It, 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 it seemed like the well, only I mean, how you grabbed that nigga. <laughs> I just grabbed his arm and just made him see that he wasn't by himself because the nigga looked like he was scared and shit. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He looked he looked like one of my baby mamas or something. So I was like, oh shit, I can't let this little bitch get slapped around. So I had to uh, I had to stop that shit, man. You know, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm no bell, no nothing like that. It's just when when people know you're gonna stand on something, sometimes you know they like fold up niggas like Gilbert. That's why I call niggas like Gilbert doodle bees. See, them <laughs> white boys know his, his knees shaky too, and so any nigga that won't stand and fight for what they 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 bought and they own, it's hard to respect a nigga like that where I'm from. Like normally, if I grew up with Gilbert, I wouldn't have never fought for Gilbert because if <laughs> I grew up with you. Nigga, if you ain't gonna fight, I'm not gonna fight. The fuck I but look like, nigga, I'm not no bodyguard. But, but, you know, but see, the problem is that yeah, I'm Kwame's bodyguard now, Gilbert. No, no, no. But he don't, he don't understand this part. Like, like you're, you're protecting me in a place that I, I don't have no power. What you mean you don't got no power, nigga? You six three. I didn't have no guns. I didn't have no guns. Nigga, I'm not. First of all, Kwame, I'm not built like you, nigga. All right, I don't. Bro, I don't you, lift motherfucking bro, you are six, out. I don't Gilbert, so, no Gilbert, Gilbert no. you one of the most athletic you are six foot three most fighters um uh Muhammad Ali was six two most fighters are around that six two six two and that's a Kwame coming from a nigga who knocked niggas out don't judge on the shit I do I'm <laughs> but, telling you that how you know expertise how not you know? How you know you? How you know if you gonna knock him out or not? If you not, hey, I'm not even gonna take the chance. So again, but that's your Gilbert, role. though, you was gonna knock out. Uh, well, attempt to knock out Javaris if he. Uh, you just you just stacked the guns up there because you knew that that was your rookie, and he was just mad. No, yeah, he was just mad. He said he was, gonna, he was gonna do this. But again, in his world, I, I that, 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 he I don't have that. I had a little power in the basketball world, and that's why I was trying to protect him. And he gets he gets mad at me for so trying. Why you didn't to get him paid, him. Gilbert? If you was so trying Gilbert. to protect him, why you didn't get him paid? Why wasn't y'all shacking Kobe then? Let me ask you, me ask you this: uh, I got paid. I got twenty five million dollars after conduct detrimental to the team. So that just shows you how much uh, uh, I played and how much talent they gave me. Twenty five million dollars after I told the team, "Go fuck yourself." If Gilbert got this much power, fuck you, fuck Gilbert, fuck all y'all. <laughs> and so that's what happened. And so goddamn, and, and, and I got 25 million right after that. So it cut my check in half, but it would have been 50 or 60 million. He know what I'm talking about. But this nigga wanna play, this nigga wanna play games like he don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, but my thing is, my thing is this, when I run across niggas like Gilbert that ain't connected to nothing, that everything is a motherfucking joke, that everything is about playing and shit. If you know you a soft ass nigga, don't use this. Ain't no friend of nobody. How you using another basketball player that can go to jail just like you get sued like you? Why are you a hundred million dollar nigga that want to buy rubies and show out ass jewelry with crowns on it? Why you ain't have a goddamn higher uh, armed security guard when you know you a bitch? Because I got you. You ain't got <laughs> shit. <laughs> I know what you do. I've seen niggas drop. Boom, boom. I don't know what this body guard doing. I don't know what this body guard doing. So, okay, but you're nope. saying you but never went dope. out unless Kwame was out. Zax, yes. Man, that, well, how is that? How is that the case? Well, I went out with him when he got there and met that girl, Sandra or Sarah, whatever. Yeah. So Y'all was on the road. I said I didn't so, want my jewelry. So I didn't so want so my jewelry. Man, we wasn't no, no, no motherfucker. 
Listen, man. <laughs> you listen. I'm gonna tell y'all how that scenario played out, man. Who is this nigga Sandra? lying like a this nigga lying like a motherfucker, man. That nigga saw Chris Whitney with that girl. <laughs> he knew he knew Chris Whitney had a, a a fiance or a situation. So he's sitting there laughing like, "Oh shit!" He even said in the locker room. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to get. But shorty. he said he met that, the girl and she didn't even know he played ball, Kwame. Man, man this nigga lying like. I a you man. remember I got hurt the man, game listen, 13. Man. Listen, boy, boy, boy. 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 I, 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 I heard, heard at the beginning of the season. Y'all was y'all was playing. I was partying. <laughs> she came down with the she came down with the loop green earrings, and I'm like, damn, who's that? Listen, man, this guy, this cat right here, when he got nobody the DC, said nothing. When this Stop. guy got the when this guy got the DC, immediately they brought billboards. They ran <laughs> stories. You can go look at the stories in the billboard when Gilbert came to DC. He was he the said savior the chick from seen the billboard after he hit. <laughs> man, this, listen, man, this, this nigga gonna sway every narrative the way it make him look like he's an angel. This nigga I is an angel. Out. Well, well let man, me ask listen. you this, Gilbert, before listen, it get too me, far. Hold on, hold on, hold on, skinny. Let me tell the real story before without him cutting me off. Because the girl did. The girl did. All right, cool. I will wait, but let me tell the Look. real story after you done over talking though. Okay, no, I'm just gonna ask story. Gilbert, and then I'm gonna let you tell the real story. The women in the chat, Gilbert, say. Could you issue an apology for saying that all black women, black women only look good in the dark? That's cap. You never okay. said that. Okay, so this was this is what happened. I woke up and Here come read, a story. I woke up and read an Instagram on an African site, right? I thought they were saying <laughs> I, I thought they were saying that basically if you ain't pure African, you're not beautiful, right? It says something about mix. So I'm saying, so I'm going at Africans. So I'm saying, who is y'all number one beauty? Lupita, ill. I'll fuck her with the lights out. She don't have nothing on. And then I named all black American women. Gabrielle Union, Kelly Rowland, blah, blah, blah. That was the statement. I thought I was this, I'm protecting black girls versus this African girls. <laughs> and that's what I thought I was doing. What kind of dumb ass like that? But, 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 the, but, the, but the page, the page was saying you don't have to be mixed to be beautiful. Oh. So I fucked up. Right? So what about when you told the, the girls in the WNBA, if y'all offended, oh, you must man. be ugly? Facts. <laughs> I said, I said, fact, listen, if I make a general statement that motherfucking WNBA girls is ugly, look like booger wolves, and then you wear this to attract men, and you get offended, I, listen, none of the pretty girls got mad. <laughs> so why, 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 why does it make you feel good, and why do you care to say they ugly or they pretty? Like what? That's why them white boys like you. Bruh, What's the I point of saying that? Bruh, I was making a joke, bro. I'm hey, a, so you, you just say I'm a so joke. Every, everything I do is jokes. All right, so you need to grow up on something. I'm, anyway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm sure, I got laughed in my bones, you, bro. You damn surely is sorry. But I'm sorry. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry out. I got laughed in my bones, and you must listen, Mr. Skip. Everybody, but check this out. You really I think heard, I'm gonna let you punch on me, boy? I heard I'm, all the lies. I heard all the lies that he told, and now, right now, he's trying to portray me as this fighting type of dude. Anytime I got into an altercation, it's when a dude aggress me first. I'm the same person I am on YouTube. If you aggress me and I'm aggress you, I'm just going to do it a little bit better than you. But the situation with Gilbert, how he keep trying to sway this narrative of how he just met this girl in the club. No, no, no. None of that happened. I don't I care did. what that... I, hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't interrupt you. I don't care what that young lady said on the show. I don't care how much you <laughs> sit her. Nigga, you seen that girl come to the game because Chris Whitney showed off. We went on the road, and you said, I heard you say this, nigga. Oh, man, I'm going to pay. I'm going to do whatever. Chris ain't got the money I got. Shit, I'm the starting point guard. I'm going to get it. And then, nigga, once you got the girl, you came in the locker room laughing. You pointed, you and Warren Dixon, you pointed at the section that you had, and you made sure Chris Whitney saw it. And he wanted to whip your motherfucking ass, but he didn't do it. And you need to stop lying. All you do is lie, bro. You trying yeah. to make it seem like all I can trying... do is ask the girl, and she man, said, "All you do is lie." Me, man. With me what, 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 what female gonna try to make herself look like a hoe on, with all this uh, information and all these people watching? Come on, man. I was right there, bro. You bro. sound crazy. 
Bro, I, I hold on. You sound crazy, nigga. I don't care what you say or that girl say, nigga. I was right there. You are, you you said you a jokester, so don't it sound like a jokester that want to make jokes and, and, and think it's funny? I said, I, tell Chris, TJ. I said, why is Chris telling people I knew you guys were together when me and you first met and I snaked him? No Chris way. ain't never tell nobody that. When did Chris tell people that? No way. Who he told that BS what's to? The, what's, the date? what's the date? What's the date on those text messages? Uh, five, 5-11, 5-11, today, 5-11, when, when Skinny asked me. I said, How first of all, first of all, him so. and I were on, not together, and I'm the only one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, How are you going to say something that Chris Whitney didn't say? You didn't hear Chris Whitney say nothing like that. Somebody told me, I, you, Skinny told me I snaked him, so I wrote it for her to answer. So she wrote. You go. So wait. You gonna phrase it to a woman that you don't know what she. No, you don't let her, or you gonna let her answer the question. <laughs> the way you let her answer her, the question she's after she's this. Trying to speak for her. Hold on, hold on, TJ uh, Harris. Giving you get your bacon just as crispy, just as crispy, just as crispy. Get your bacon just as crispy, just as crispy, just as crispy. Let her answer the question, Gil. But this is what I'm saying. The way he, the way he the way he framed the question was a why is Chris tell okay why is Chris telling people I knew Man, you guys listen, were together? Listen, but listen, why are you telling people? Why is but Chris listen, telling people? We, we, listen, we can't. It. But listen, bro, we can't. How are, ask, how are you? How are you protecting because, Chris and the girl? Like <laughs> she's answering the question. No, you sound crazy right now. You can't start a question based on a lie. You didn't hear Chris Whitney. Bro, you didn't hear. I didn't know you, you made a lie. I didn't know you, you made a lie. Bro, the facts of the matter is you're trying to over talk the truth. You didn't hear Chris Whitney say a motherfucking thing. So you still, <laughs> you still doing the same bullshit you did from back in the day. Why would you text a woman 20 years later talking about what Chris said and Chris ain't say shit? Show me what Chris said. Show it to me when Chris told you that. Skinny, did you ask me a question? Yes. Skinny said that. Why you ain't what telling me what Skinny have? said? Okay, so why you ain't why you ain't tell a girl? Hey, that quiet. This, hey, hey, this was before you. Skinny, what did you ask me the question? What did you ask? I said, why did you uh motherfucking snake Chris Whitney? Yes. So I'm thinking, damn, Chris telling people I snake them. So why what I say, I'll just text her. Then I say Yeah, hey. you text her and she said that you never snake Chris right, Whitney, that, that it was all on her. She and said, she, first of all, him and I were not together, and I'm the one that told you listen, when listen, 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 Why listen, are you listen, being listen, interrupted though. when you when because, she's giving because, you the answer? Because you lying. You trying to make Chris how is she lying? This is her. She, how is she lying? I'm nah, saying nah. you lying, nigga. I ain't say she lying. What's wrong with your head? Hey, can you, can you, I never you said him? she lying. Because he what this ain't part of him. This ain't part of him. Chris Whitney did we need a thousand likes anything, bro. You okay, cool. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. But, but, but what cool. you but what you what but you answer still cool. is the answer. I what didn't you, the answer ain't the answer. The answer the is answer the answer. Is the answer. Did, I, did I know you guys were together? The answer still no. Man, listen, man. You can't say it. The answer you still doing no. the same. I didn't know they were together. Man, listen, man, listen, you just doing a bunch of talking, but you making yourself look stupid. You doing, doing the same. Even, you doing the same. You won't even let a nigga talk. You doing the same shit you did back in the day. You did. You doing, bro. You doing the same shit you did back in the day. You put another man name in your mouth, lying. That man ain't say a motherfucking thing. Chris. Chris Whitney. Chris, I'm not trying to answer. Are you gonna let her answer? Did you hear Chris? No. Did you hear Chris Whitney say that to you? No. 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 So why couldn't you come to her and say? No. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. So why couldn't you come to her and say a YouTuber asked you a question? Because he answered me. I thought Chris. Fuck what you thought. Fuck what you thought, nigga. That ain't what happened. Okay. Got it. Got it. Fuck. Fuck what you thought. Okay. You sitting here doing. You can you okay. can tell you're not that smart. You went up okay. there and jacked the girl. Now can I oh, leave? No, 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 no. You been you been talking. You been you, you, you been you. talking you a lot. You live on your motherfucking lie. You, been, you won't let let me let me finish three words. Let me finish three sentences without you yelling in the goddamn screen on your birthday. The reason why you wrong, my nigga, Chris Whitney didn't say a motherfucking thing to you. 
and you don't know. See, that's what I'm talking about with that dude. Just finish, finish. finish. Okay, okay. Finish. Shut your goddamn mouth then. Finish. You don't know. You don't know the personal situation between her and Chris. So you get her emotionally you know, attached. Oh man, you just talking about. <laughs> how you gonna mute the conversation for? Hey, mute this nigga, man. How you gonna mute the conversation for it if I can't finish a goddamn question? Well, we gotta make this to the show. Hey, listen, we can't have a Hey, Gil, hey, Gil, when he tried to get the question like out. The, the nigga won't let me the nigga hurt. The nigga hurt, man. The nigga won't let me finish my statement because he knows. Listen, listen. I don't understand. Why don't you wait your turn? Listen, Gilbert, why don't you be an adult on your birthday? Let me finish my statement, and I promise I won't say nothing while you talking. Right. Okay then. Here's my thoughts on why I think you wrong, Good little boy. Not true. Go. Oh my God, this nigga emotional as fuck. You can't never <laughs> shut the fuck up. Okay. Here's why you wrong, nigga. Chris Whitney didn't say shit to you, so you don't know what kind of emotional tie this woman have with Chris Whitney, because Chris Whitney was dating her when he had a fiance, nigga. So you don't you don't mention no Dang. shit like that, acting like you don't mention no shit like that, acting like you a hell of a nigga saying some shit like chris whitney said this after 20 years she might have an emotional reaction and say any goddamn thing but if you would have been honest and said a youtuber asked me a question about chris whitney she may have had a different answer but you see you're not smart enough to just leave shit the way it is you always got to sway the narrative or make shit something that is not chris whitney didn't say a motherfucking thing to you now you go with all this mumbo jumbo shit. okay I remember I told you I had something to tell you, and you said, "Are you pregnant?" And I said, "Hell no." Then, so you then I told wrong. you. Then I told you I used to mess with Chris. She this told. Ain't work this time. What? It ain't work this time. I don't. What? I can't. He hear say you. Plan B didn't work or something. No, I said that spermicide that you used to use. Oh, it ain't <laughs> work this time. Okay, so, let's, so, so let's try this again. <laughs> well, y'all niggas crazy. Remember, I told you I had. I know this nigga. You, you <laughs> pre- I said you pregnant. She said I said hell no. Then I told you I used to mess with Chris, and he know damn well him and I were done. That's her answer. I did not know, nigga. She told me. So period. why was they done? Why was they done? I don't know. Never asked. That's not my nigga. Because she, nigga, she was done because she found out about his fiance in Atlanta. That nigga, ain't got nothing to do. So that means nigga, I listen, listen, I listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, skinny. Let me, let me, okay, let me say something though. You don't got to keep talking to mouth. You say you're going to be talking. You say you're going to be talking. You don't finish. You say you're going to be talking. So, so again, she's telling me she messed with. So obviously, we're already fucking. We're already fucking. If I'm thinking she's pregnant, right? She tells me she messes with. She used to mess with Chris. Dang. That means everything man, you here, said man. is a motherfucking cat. <laughs> you done? You done? Okay. Probably was knocking man, them this, niggas back in the day. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. This man trying to portray like he a hell of a nigga or something, man. You I decide that. <laughs> All right. I, I'll wait. You, I'll wait. You finish. Go ahead. Go ahead, Kwame. Go ahead. <laughs> man, this <laughs> this bitch ass nigga, the side chick whisperer, man. Chris Whitney had a whole. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't even finish, man. I can't even. Yeah, look, oh, I'm a handsome nigga, man. I ain't gonna lie, but all right, I don't need right. a snake why, no why nigga. You, hey, skinny, why? I don't need a snake no nigga. Why, why you think he over talking me? So Kwame, did you have to have, protect him from snaking a nigga? No, no, let me, let me, let me get this off, skinny. Okay. This nigga is the side. This nigga is the side chick whisperer, man. <laughs> this nigga, this bitch ass nigga. This bitch ass nigga trying to act like he knocking niggas bitches or something. Nigga, that girl was a side chick. That nigga was married. That nigga wife. That nigga. That nigga wife had cu- a cupcake business in Atlanta, nigga. Go no, bitch ass right. went and you, 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 like nigga, you went. Sucks. Man, hold on. Let me finish though. You went and dirty Mac. You waited till this girl find out about this nigga fiance and get some pussy. And now you want to act like you a hell of a nigga. Man, so you said deal with you. So you said you know, a whole ass nigga for real. You bro. see how but you just see how he just so said he said just not he said, five pieces. No, 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 no. He just said I you waited for I can't I can't I can't even fucking knew each other. Listen, 
You trying to show out? You trying to show out in front of strangers, nigga? You doing all this? Hey, man, you got the answer. You got the answer. Why man. can't I talk? Why can't I talk the same amount of time you talk? I got the answer. You hey, talking about your goddamn? I didn't, I didn't know. Nigga, I, I, I did not know, know, nigga. You know I, I did know. not know. They were you talking to each other. You told me. You a me. cap ass nigga, dog. You a cap ass nigga. You trying hey, to make this talk? Man, hey, listen, hey, hey, skinny. This nigga is a cap ass nigga trying to make Chris Whitney look weak. Why like you think he you Chris yeah, yeah, Chris Whitney do look weak, weak right now. This nigga, this nigga fucked the work, nigga. You fucked the work, bitch ass nigga. I don't know why you sit here trying to act like you a hell of a. What he fucked the fuck special the work? Man, nope. this nigga fucked the club. That girl was in the club every other night. You bitch ass nigga trying to act like this. So I'm in the club. Is the truth coming out? What you talking about, nigga? All I'm saying is this. No, the way the way you talk about situations and keep running your mouth, you trying to act like you was some hell of a nigga. You sit back and you watch Chris Whitney with that girl. You waited to that girl. You waited till his wife uh, caught that girl in the situation, and that's how you. He was married. I thought you said you was a good teammate, nigga. You supposed to know everything about this shit. Nigga, we said right in the middle. Like what is wrong? Come on, man. Man, I gotta go, man. I gotta get, I gotta get ready for this ball. I appreciate both of y'all coming through. You lying ass nigga, man. So, hey, before we get off, though, before we get off. Hey, Skinny. Hey, Skinny. What kind of hundred million dollar nigga brag about fucking the side bitch at the club? <laughs> Give a said, this nigga lame he didn't know. Fuck, man, this, man, this nigga lame as fuck, man. This nigga fucking side bitches and acting like he a goddamn hey, hell of a nigga. nigga shut your hey, can we get a truth, bitch. Gilbert? So you're not gonna talk about Kwame? You know, and he gonna let he gonna let all that fake shit he mad about me go. We already. All right, hey, um, hey, look, Skinny. You hear huh? how this nigga frame the situation? All this fake shit that I'm mad about, let it go. He got his hand out when I ain't say shit about this bitch ass. Well, nigga. Man. This nigga want to be, this Thank nigga want to be relevant so bad. That's Thank why you spent a million dollars on your own birthday, you dumb Thank motherfucker. You, no, nah, I'm not shaking shit. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just shut your bitch ass up, and it'll be done like that. Like nigga, any any nigga that'll put their life, put their life on the line for me, fight for me. If they ask me to do something, nigga, it's done. I'm hey, not man, doing nothing to talk of a white girl. Hey, I got to get now. It's the strippers and models time, all right? Uh, show all right. show it to us. Enjoy the rest of your day. Show us the strippers and models. Show us the strippers and models. I got to get dressed. Show it to her. Don't let them be to naked, her. Gilbert. You're going to get out of here. I'm in my house right now. I got to get dressed. No, no, no. Go show us the strippers and models. You say you're going to come to your house, eh? No, I got to go to the little thing thing. Party. Oh, you going to the strip club at 40. Ah! I thought you were buying the back page. I ain't sure was in 2007, nigga. Stop. <laughs> hey, go, so you go. a hella. So, so wait, so wait. You